A number of citizens were killed and others were wounded as three explosions targeted the outer door of the Ministry of Interior at Kefar Susi neighborhood in Damascus. The blasts caused heavy material damage. A source at the ministry confirmed that the minister and the high-ranking officers are safe. In Al Qanawat neighborhood in Damascus, two explosive devices were detonated by terrorists in two cars behind the court premises, wounding one person and causing material damage in the place. Damascus Police Command said the terrorists planted one device in a car and the other between two cars parked in the place, adding that one civilian was injured and material damage was inflicted on a number of cars and shops. Terrorists detonated two explosive devices planted in the middle of the road at the entrance of Al Qrayat neighborhood in Jeramana in Damascus suburbs, killing one citizen and injuring four others, in addition to causing material damage. A Syrian Arab army unit found while chasing an armed terrorist group a factory for making explosive devices at Al Firin roundabout in Daraya city in Damascus countryside. Tens of explosive devices were seized. On the other hand, another army unit foiled a terrorist attempt to detonate two explosive devices near a kindergarten at Al Kornish area in Daraya. In Jurat al Shayah and Homs, an army unit clashed with an armed terrorist group. An official source said the clashes resulted in killing and injuring several snipers. In Aleppo, an armed terrorist group fired mortar shells that targeted Al Nil Street near Al Qalaji Hospital Crossroad and the local market of the city, killing nine persons, including children, and causing material damage. The army clashed with the terrorists, inflicting heavy losses on them. Syrian Arab army units carried out a series of operations destroying several terrorist hideouts that contained arms and ammunition in Idlib suburbs and killing and injuring several gunmen. The operations led to the killing of a number of armed men in Serge, Khan al-Subul and Saraqib. An official source said an army unit fully destroyed several terrorist hideouts and gatherings in several villages in Jisr al shughur suburbs. The source added that army units continue to pursue terrorist groups in Al-Hamidiyya and Ma'arat al-Nu'man. In Deir al-Zor, an army unit clashed with an armed group in al jbeli neighborhood, killing several terrorists. Syrian Arab army units also killed several terrorists in al Orfi neighborhood and Port Said Street, as well as in al Hassan, Hatla, and al Husayniya villages. Among the terrorists killed was the leader of al Qisas battalion. Another army unit destroyed an armored vehicle and a number of cars with the terrorists inside in Maria village in the governorate suburbs. The first attorney general in Damascus, Mohammed Marwan al luji underlined that the first investigating judge issued three arrest warrants in absentia against the two Lebanese MPs, Saad al-Din al-Hariri and Uqab Saqr, in addition of the Syrian citizen, Luay al-Maqdad, and sent them to the Interpol. al luji said that crimes of the wanted persons are linked to terrorism and those involved in these crimes are dealt with in accordance to international terrorism law. The Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov affirmed that the United States recognition of the Syrian opposition's coalition as the legitimate representative of the Syrian people is against all agreements listed in the Geneva Statement, which includes starting a national dialogue between the government and the opposition's representatives. After Lavrov's meeting with the Slovakian Foreign Minister in Moscow, he held a press conference during which he declared that the United States has decided to bet on the military victory of the opposition by recognizing this coalition. He also pointed out that Moscow will call on Washington for clarifications. He added that Russia asked the U.S. for details regarding how it will further deal with this declaration.